guys. Welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby! Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark. Mark Brutalier, and today... We've got a special one for you. It's me shitting on trends per usual, but not just any trends. Spring summer trends. Spring summer 22. This is a tier list video. It's been a very long time since I've done a tier list video. So get yourself strapped in, get yourself a nice little snacky snack, and let's get into the video. The first one is jorts. Obviously, jorts have been everywhere. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's skate culture that's kind of influenced that or if it's just in general the sort of 90s, early 2000s type silhouettes. But nevertheless, jorts are here. I got a pair of jorts like last summer or maybe even before that. I just randomly found them at Buffalo Exchange and they were like a perfect pair of vintage Levi's orange tab jorts that fit me perfectly and I've just been wearing them since then. So I never really thought of it as a trend but then this year it really kind of took control i think this is a good trend i think that there's good and bad ways to wear jorts just like there is any other piece of clothing but i think that this is a fair a a s a b c d yeah a not i'm not gonna call it top tier but i think it's a good one so we're gonna put it in a next up we have adidas sambas obviously the whole bloke core thing has been kind of blown out of proportion if you will um people are wearing sambas all the time wales bonner sambas just released not too long ago um i say that they released their original version where whenever they did that i don't remember and then they recently released more i have the pair that has like the green to be honest i'm not super crazy about them i like them but i feel like i don't like them enough to keep them if that makes sense but overall i don't know i think sambas are a little bit of a slim silhouette i think there are better options out there that kind of have that same silhouette but i don't think they're bad i'm not gonna like say that they're like the worst thing that ever existed they're definitely not as bad as new balance 550s in my book <laughs> i think they're a little bit more stylish than that uh personally but yeah i'm gonna give it like Let's put it in C tier. We'll put it in C tier. I was kind of hovering between C and B, but we're going to leave it in C tier because to be honest, I don't know how long Samba hype is really going to last. Uh, next up, we have soccer jerseys. The full bloke core trifecta. Jorts, Sambas, soccer jerseys. I don't really know how I feel about the soccer jersey thing. Obviously, a lot of people are just thrifting them and wearing them that way. I know there have been designers in the past who have tried to sort of make their own iteration. I know um, Martine Rose has one that's actually pretty sick. Gosha obviously did theirs. I think 424 did one like in collaboration with Adidas. So there's been like designery brands that have tried to do this as well. But overall, it's just not necessarily my thing. I think it's fun while it lasts, but I don't know if it'll actually last. So for that... I'm going to also put that in C tier. Continuing on, we have parachute pants. This one, while it's been a thing for a minute now in terms of like these like wider leg pants, I think the phrase parachute pants and like these sort of like over pants that are just like next level baggy is sort of more so emerging at this point. I feel like at least on TikTok, I feel like last week people decided let's talk about parachute pants, let's call them parachute pants, all that. I think it's a good trend. I don't even really think it's like a trend trend. Baggy pants have been like on the rise for a minute. And yes, it does kind of go in a circle. Next year we might all be wearing skinnies again. Or maybe even some skinny biker denim, which, you know, if that if that happens, then uh you know who to thank. I think the whole needles HD pants, like just the overly wide, I think too wide. There is a point where it becomes too wide, but overall, I think they're cool, and I think it's a unique thing for people to sort of try out, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the B tier. Next up, we got mesh. I have been a big advocate for mesh for the summer. I think it adds a nice texture. I think it's a good layering item. I think it's just a unique fabric and is very flowy, very airy. It's just something that's kind of nice. To be honest, I feel like when you wear mesh, you just feel very, very confident. I don't know what it is, but 
I like it. And for that reason alone, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the A tier. I would almost consider things in the S tier like a classic, like something that's going to like go down as like a forever thing. And while I might always like mesh, I don't think it's a trend that's going to necessarily stick around for like a decade. You know what I mean? I think it kind of goes in and out, especially in the menswear world where you know, a lot of people aren't confident enough to pull something like that off. But next up, we have tight fitting tees, sort of the second skin tees where it's just skin tight. Some of these are kind of in that mesh family. Some of them are just like the 70s style, like tight vintage tees um, or even like, you know, you, you've seen them. You know what I'm talking about. Kind of the tight tee flare pant combo or the tight tee big pant combo, whatever. I think it's a interesting silhouette, I guess. Like, I think having a super tight top, it's nice. It works really well for certain outfits. I mean, it's kind of a, like, a whatever trend, to be honest. It's one of those where it's, like, doesn't really harm much because, like, tight t-shirts and big t-shirts just exist in the world. So, it's not, like, something that's going to just immediately get thrown out after, like, one season, necessarily. I don't think it's a super, a super harmful trend by any means so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in a b tier and keep it moving sporty sunglasses like the angry baseball dad sunglasses or what the actual players might be wearing these have kind of like taken control to be honest i guess a lot of like golfers sort of wear them too but people are really really wearing these and to be honest i think it's cool when pulled off correctly but to be honest, a lot of people don't really have the head shape, the face shape to be pulling these things off. Like they just don't like look good. And I think eyewear is just such a thing where like you want it to really like look good on your face. That's why I only really wear like certain types of frames. I can't really wear just anything, even if I really want to, you know, more power to you. Do what you want to do. I think overall these sort of sporty sunglasses are cool. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in the C tier. Camp collar shirts. That's a, that's one for you. Every single year, camp collar shirts are considered to be a summer trend. And I'm just not buying it. It's not a trend. It's a classic. This is just something that people go to year and year and year and year and year again. Literally, when I was working at Banana Republic back in like high school, we were selling camp collar shirts and that was like something that was sort of like emerging back then and it really hasn't gone anywhere since then so i don't see how it's a trend at this point but people still like to sort of push that narrative at least on tiktok and stuff like that but i'm gonna put it in the s tier i don't necessarily wear like a ton of camp collar shirts but like i said it's a classic it's kind of a staple at this point and i don't see how it wouldn't be S tier. Next up, we have the shirt slash tie, but sort of worn in that casual way. That's been like the thing recently. People have been wearing like button up tie with like a varsity jacket over or like sort of just making it into a more like techie or casual look. Maybe wearing it with jeans, maybe wearing it with like technical pants. Like it's been kind of interesting to watch people do this. And I think it's a very like unique trend and also just like a good trend in the sense of like getting people to genuinely try something different and have it yet still be like sort of a classic style like you know a white button ups classic a black ties classic so again it's not really doing much harm because anybody can go out and buy these things you don't need to necessarily you know like she and sure they could make a white button up but you know it's not like some sort of hyper trendy thing that's going to be like irrelevant to everybody like in a month because business people wear white button ups either way so there you go i think overall it's a good trend i haven't participated in it much myself but i think it's like it's a solid um a tier for me oversized shorts the super like sort of long shorts or just the super wide shorts maybe like the pleated like dress shorts that are just huge i actually kind of like the long short thing i think it's interesting it kind of makes for a new silhouette that hasn't really been touched for a little bit now people have been so into like the really short inseams so seeing people kind of revert back has been pretty cool i do give a lot of credit to the jort thing 
in terms of like getting people into that style but nevertheless i think it's a good look i think it's cool i think it's interesting and i'm going to put it in b tier b tier next up we got the foam slides slash footwear it seems like tons of brands are doing this whether you're looking at like the yeezy stuff i know here in preston did some sort of 3d model thing Alix or Givenchy or whatever it is that Matthew Williams did. It might have been both, to be honest. It seems like every brand wants to make some sort of foam shoe. Merrill Hydro Mox. There are tons of them out there, and I really, really like some of them and don't really like others. It's also getting to a point where when every brand does it, they all start to kind of look the same, and I don't know. So I don't know how I feel about it entirely. I think it's interesting, especially like the 3D model thing. I think, you know, it could be sort of the future. So, you know, I don't want to like fully sh on it because that might be, you know, a primary option coming coming soon. Who knows? But um, probably not. But we're going to put it in B tier. I think that's a good place for it to be. Last on my list, and I probably missed other trends. So there's that. But... Last on my list is cropped tops, but I don't want to say crop tops, just cropped tops because I've seen a lot of these DIYs where people are like buying random button ups at the thrift and just chopping them, t-shirts and chopping them, just like buying a bunch of like uppers, maybe even jackets and just straight cutting them with scissors. And I really start to wonder, you know, like is a, is Goodwill like, you know, I know for the vintage people out there, there are a lot of like Levi's orange tabs, for example, where the orange tab is cut out because back in the day when people were wearing them, they thought the orange tabs were like lame or whatever. So they'd always like cut them off so you couldn't see it. And that's why like when you're thrifting them, like a lot of times you find ones that don't have the tab. So I'm kind of wondering if like the future thrifters or vintage people or whatever, if that even is a thing, you know, going into that uh next era if they're just going to be finding a bunch of cool button-ups that are just chopped i start to think about like the integrity of certain pieces of clothing and in terms of like chopping like you know like a 1950s flannel or something like i start to feel a little guilty doing something like that um but i don't know i don't know i do think it looks good sometimes but it's hard for me to kind of make sense of it entirely for that reason i think i'm gonna put it in C tier. I appreciate that it gets people sort of like buying secondhand stuff and like altering it to work for them. But in terms of like the long run, I think you're better off taking it to get it like professionally altered or just up those sewing skills and do it yourself, I guess. But um, yeah, that's everything. That's my list. That's what I got. Like I said, I probably missed some stuff, but. It is what it is, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So, until next time. Bye.